Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I fix paint damage to the edge of a door like this quickly, cheaply and effectively. Okay, so we've all seen it, paint chips and damage on the edge of a car door. These small but obvious marks can really bring down the look of your car, especially if you're looking to sell it, so it pays to repair them. First, I start by gently sanding the affected area with a high grade sandpaper. In this case, I'm using 1200 grit. Don't be afraid to lightly scuff up the paint surrounding the damaged area. This will be rectified later on. This example has chips on both the metal of the door itself and also the plastic rub strip. This means that I won't be able to go straight in with colour on a plastic area. I'll need to apply a base coat first. Once sanding the damaged areas and scuffing up some of the surrounding paint is complete, this is what we're looking at. Note the duller areas of paint due to sanding. Next, it's time to clean the area with some panel wipe to remove any dust or residue. With that done, it's time to paint. The areas of damage that are on the metal of the door are down to base coat, so it's fine to go straight in with colour. Here, I'm using a mixed colour based on a car's paint code. I'm using a fine detail paintbrush to dab the colour on rather than apply it with traditional strokes. This dabbing technique is important as it allows me to fill the damaged area ready for sanding later. I'll use this method to apply two to three coats of colour, then allow it to fully cure, ready to be flatted and polished later. The same technique is used when applying the base coat to the exposed black plastic of the rub strip. Now that several layers of colour have been applied, these repaired areas tend to sit a little high. That's exactly what we're looking for at this stage. When the new paint is fully cured, it's time to flat it back with some fine grade paper. As this is a door edge, I've been super cautious and opted for a 2500 grit sandpaper to take down both the colour and also the base I applied to the plastic. As I take down the base coat on the rub strip, you'll see the exact shape of the damage emerge. This demonstrates how the base coat has successfully filled the lower, damaged area. Just as before, don't be too worried about scuffing up the paint surrounding what you've just repaired. This will disappear in the next stage. With that done, this is what we're looking at. All high spots removed and a uniform finish across the repaired sections. Now it's time to apply the last bit of colour to the plastic rub strip. Although this damage is now no longer a low spot due to the base coat, I still use the dabbing technique as I want the colour to go on thick, ready for sanding later. This is exactly the same as before. After a suitable amount of time has passed to allow the paint to cure, I use 2500 grit paper to gently smooth out the repair. Now it's time for polishing. As this is a relatively small area, I'll use some cutting compound on a microfiber cloth rather than a machine polisher. This allows a little more control so I can be sure not to cut through the thin paint on the door's edge. I start by applying some compound with my finger before working it in thoroughly with the cloth. This is the stage where any dulling of the surrounding paint caused by the sanding earlier will be rectified. So there you have it, a door's edge repaired and looking much better. Overall costs here were minimal as the amount of paint used was tiny. Thank you to everyone who subscribed recently, you're all a bunch of legends. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave me a like or a comment below. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing so that you can see more quick repairs and automotive flips.